come to me. I said, boy, I want you to take my boy and, and, and build his character. Well, I want to have character when he gets you. I've had people say to me that I never could handle him, but uh, I know you can. But if he had 18 years and can't handle him, I, I, I don't want him. Uh, we want people that already have character. We want people that uh, that uh, want to help themselves be better people and help themselves be better students and help themselves be better football players. And if they do that, I think we can help them. And if we can help them, then they'll turn out better citizens and be able to take their place in society and and progress and mature and uh, be good people. What you've been able to accomplish over the years, Paul, to me has just been magnificent. But uh, the most interesting thing to me, honestly, is the attitudes of young people have undergone changes uh, quite dramatically and yet your teams have always come out of the chute with that high momentum high emotion great discipline well i don't think that's uh, i think you're gonna you have to give the parents credit for that and the people that have been associated with it. i think uh, we're very careful like everyone is now uh, in our re selection and recruiting I, I don't care how good a person if he's a triple all-american if he's not a good person i don't want him. And uh, if he's a good person, well, then some of those things can happen. But uh, it's not anything I do that makes them happen. It's, it's a general atmosphere. I think uh, atmosphere on the campus at times, something back home, or the rivalry between the two schools. Well, the, the thing, you, heck, you know more about it than I do. But uh, it's nothing I do. People ask me about, oh, how you get them fired? If I knew, I would never tell anyone. But I, every time I see one of them, I try to say something to them to show them the importance or the difference. Uh, and winning and losing are the fruits uh, from winning and losing, and uh, I think there is a great difference. If the people in my business did what you did, we wouldn't last a week. We never go back and say, it was our fault, it was someone else's, and you always stand around and said, it's your fault, what do you lose? Well, I'll tell you something about that, too. Somebody's going to say it, and if it is, it might well be me. <laughs> and, and, and I'm sincere when I say it, and I'll say the other thing, it, it, we won many games in spite of me. And maybe I've helped win a few or contributed to win a few, but I've never won a game, and the players win the game. I don't care about who the coach is. I think you've got to have a, you start with the coach. But players win the football game, and many people, you take any player on a team, any, and just pick one out, and go back to his parents when he's little, his uh, preacher, his uh, Sunday school teacher, his uh, high school faculty, his high school coach. So many people had an influence on his life in getting him to, to be there. And our players... Uh, I asked him sometimes, how long have you been playing football? And they said, well, seven, eight, nine years. And I said, okay, you know, Mario, you have one hour. You've been, you've been practicing that long. You have an hour to put your act on. And what you gonna do? You're gonna do poorly or you're gonna do the best you can? 